to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, present the most important news of the day. Tuesday, September 19th of 2023. The government yesterday rejected the BS on Fertinate statements of the human rights expert for Haiti from the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, William O'Neill, who questioned official immigration policies, including the closure of its borders. Travel to Haiti by land continues to be suspended, according to spokespersons for transportation companies, after President Luis Abinader's order to close the border with Haiti by air, sea, and land. The National Association of Egg Producers rejected the measure adopted by the government to close the border with Haiti after warning that if the closure persists, it will bankrupt hundreds of egg producers. The Office for the Reorganization of Transportation, OPRED, reported that preliminary data determined that the crash of two of the Santo Domingo metro trains last Saturday was due to violations of established operating protocols by one of the drivers. The country begins the week with a high demand for care from patients with dengue symptoms who continue to arrive at hospitals in search of assistance, many of them requiring hospitalization. The second criminal chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice was in power with an appeal against the decision to achieve the file against the president of the Chamber of Accounts of the Republic, Hanel Andres Ramirez Sanchez, accused of harassing two employees of the institution. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.